Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to talk about an arm muscle that few people mention, the brachialis. Like the biceps brachii, the brachialis is also a spindle-shaped muscle and it's located in the anterior or front compartment of the arm. However, it lies just under the biceps brachii and because it is somewhat hidden by that biceps muscle, it's very rare to hear someone say, Hey, show me your brachialis. However, if you look closely, you can often see the brachialis muscle on a bodybuilder, especially when you look at the lateral surface of the arm when it's flexed. And if you want to build bulging biceps, then you're going to want to build the muscle that's going to help push those even higher, which is the brachialis. So what does the name brachialis mean? Well, the word brachialis sounds similar to the brachii that makes up the biceps and triceps name. And that's because the prefix brachy comes from an old Latin word that means arm or of the arm. So anytime you see that word or prefix brachy, you should immediately be thinking to yourself something to do with the arm. For example, brachialis, muscle of the arm. Biceps, brachii, muscle of the arm. The brachial artery runs where? It runs in your toes. Now I'm just joking, it also runs down the arm. Now let's talk about the origin and insertion of the brachialis muscle. And unlike the biceps brachii, the brachialis does actually attach to the humerus bone, originating on the lower anterior or front surface of the bone. And that's going to be its strong anchor point. And then it's going to insert at the coronoid process of the ulna, as well as the ulnar tuberosity. And again, the insertion part is the part it's going to move as it contracts. So what is the major function or action of the brachialis muscle? Well, again, it actually inserts in the ulna, and that's the part that it's going to move when it contracts, and it's anchored here on the humerus bone. So what's going to happen is it's going to be responsible for elbow flexion. It's going to bring that forearm closer to the arm. And the brachialis muscle is actually a synergist or helper to the biceps brachii in that movement. And if you ever get confused about the action of this muscle, just remember that the brachialis helps you drink from a chalice. So what kind of exercises can you use to train the brachialis muscle? Well, because it's involved in elbow flexion, any type of curling movement is going to involve the brachialis muscle along with that biceps brachii. However, you're going to want to keep this in mind. If you keep your hands and forearms in a neutral or pronated position, you're going to emphasize the brachialis muscle a little more over the biceps brachii. Why is that? Well, again, the biceps brachii is responsible for supination. And during supination, that radial bone kind of rotates over the ulna. And so if you keep your hands and your forearms in this neutral position or pronate them like this during the curling movement, then you're actually going to emphasize that brachialis muscle a little more. Now, there are two popular exercises that bodybuilders use to train the brachialis muscle. And one is the hammer curl. And this is where you're going to curl a weight with the wrist in a neutral position where the palms are facing medially. And you're going to keep your arm steady at your side and just curl the weight up and then lower it back down. And you can also use reverse curls. And this is where you're going to actually pronate the forearm so that you have an overhand grip on the barbell or dumbbell. And as far as the nerve supply is concerned, just like the biceps brachii, the brachialis is also going to be supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve. However, it's also going to receive some innervation via the radial nerve as well. Okay, that wraps up this quick anatomy lesson over the brachialis. And we have a free quiz you can take on our website. Just click the link in the description below. We also have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.